The Cardinals are beefing up the defensive line in free agency, including defensive tackle Justin Jones. I'm Danny Sarek. Justin, you're coming from Chicago, which boasted the number one run defense last year. You set career highs in sacks with four and a half and quarterback hits with 17. Coming to Arizona, what makes this the right scheme fit to build upon the year you had? Well, you know, it, it's a 4-3 it's a front with a lot of different multiple things you can do with that. You know, certain guys you walk up, certain certain uh, safety rotations and different courages you can throw at that. But uh, as for a three technique, it gives you the flexibility to do a couple different things. You know, it allows you to be explosive. It allows you to be a little more passive sometimes. It allows you to, I guess, play the game in your style of the ball. And it gives me the freedom to uh, showcase a lot of things that I've been doing, you know, currently in my career. You're bringing the winning mentality. Physically, mm. you were a 17 game starter the last two seasons. Mm. In addition to reliability and durability, what physical skill sets are you adding to this D line? Uh, I feel like I'm a explosive, you know, off the ball. You know, I, I, I bring the pass rush up the middle, you know, stopping the run. That's kind of been my MO throughout my whole career, uh, along with, you know, being explosive and everything. And, you know, just, just trying to be a good, you know, a good teammate to the guys that I'm playing with. And, you know, just trying to show them that, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm about to come in here and work. Head so. coach Jonathan Gannon has changed the culture here. Mm -hmm. Had a very competitive team despite only four wins last season. He has said before the price of admission to become an Arizona Cardinal is high. Mm -hmm. You signed your contract. You've clearly paid that admission of what they're looking for in the Cardinals. Mm -hmm. What are your first impressions of Jonathan Gannon and the culture that has been set here? I mean, just from where he's been, you know, he, he's a winner just from where he's been. So, you know, he, he knows what it takes. And so bringing that, bringing that and breeding that and uh, turning this into an environment that breeds winners is just, you know, he's setting, setting the foundation by creating standards and, you know, not, not pivoting from that. Like, if this is what we're going to be. And if we're not this, then, then we have to make some changes. But this is what the standard is. And we're going to hold people accountable to what we're trying to accomplish here. And that's what I respect about him because, uh, you know, a, a lot of, a lot of uh, teams you see, you know, that are kind of like just, you know, average teams, they kind of like keep a standard, but don't stick to it for certain people. This is the standards for everybody here in Arizona. And I'm, I'm, I'm finding that out, you know, fast. So, and I, I appreciate that because, you know, with all the guys that they're bringing in, what, what they're, you know, what they're going to be about. You were the Bears Walter Payton Man of the Year nominee last year. Mm -hmm. On a personal level, what can Cardinals fans expect to see from you out here in the community? Uh. You know, just just trying to help people grow. You know, as I, as I grow myself, you know, like you know, life. I feel like it's just an ongoing journey of just learning and you know, evolving and, and being a better version of yourself. And that's just what I plan to be—a better version of myself. And along the way, trying to help people be a better a better version of themselves. You know, just helping out along the way, just doing what I can. You know, it's a bunch of great people everywhere. You know, that just you know allowed me to be a part of their lives, and you know, I'm very appreciative of that. You know, so you know, just doing it like that, going about it like that. Cardinals adding a defensive lineman with the right mentality, the physical traits, and somebody who cares about the community. Mm -hmm. Justin, welcome to the Valley. Appreciate you giving us a little time today. Thank you. I appreciate the opportunity.